Nairobi Coffee Exchange NCE has been campaigning over the years to have Kenyans increase their consumption of the beverage in order to reduce our reliance on the world market to cushion the prices of the commodity from external shocks. Despite Kenya being identified as having one of the best quality coffee, its production has significantly dropped compared with her peers in the region, with Uganda, which was at par with the country in the previous years, now widening the gap. However, according to Industry and Trade Cabinet Secretary Peter Munya, the Nairobi Coffee Exchange is to blame for the low coffee uptake as it operates in an opaque manner, adding that acquiring licenses to sell coffee to the international market has been made difficult and expensive for farmers. The coffee uh, exchange that has been there for many years does not allow the farmer to discover the best price available. So it's an opaque trading where players who are licensed, and the licenses are very difficult to get, and they're expensive. Why are they expensive and difficult to get? If I'm growing my tea and I want to sell it, why should government restrict me? In order to identify the actual production capacity as well as the quality of the commodity, the government now plans to establish a coffee auction that will see all players in the sector showcase and sell their commodity to the highest bidder. Meanwhile, Nairobi Coffee Exchange, which normally receives all the produce after bidding, will this time be competing with other coffee bodies. Yes, the commodity exchange will create, they will compete together, isn't it? Because we can't close anybody, but we also must address the bottlenecks that make farmers not get any money. Coffee is dying and it's dying every day, and we don't want to address the challenges that are making it die. And we are going to address them. We set up an alternative route. Let them compete, isn't it? It's a marketplace. Let's let them they have the competition. This happens even as the value of Kenya's coffee goes up by 6% in this week's trading, which has been attributed to high-quality beans and a price surge at the New York Exchange. A market report from the Nairobi Coffee Exchange, NCE, indicates that a 50-kilogram bag of coffee fetched 11,435 shillings, up from 10,712 shillings last week. Linda Koskei, K24 Business.